I'm really excited to see how their color comes in more. Hopefully we'll have some babies for the summer. If you can see his face right there, it kind of looks a little indented. I did get a bunch of crickets and I am trying to breed them. Uh, he is getting treated for a couple different things. Just wanted you guys to see him and know that he's doing all right now and he's getting better each day. Hey everyone, how's it going? I know it's been a while since I posted. If you checked in the last couple live streams, I kind of explained that I had sort of a hectic past week. Uh, today, I want to do this month's sort of reptile room update where I go around all the reptiles. You guys know the deal and kind of update you guys on what's going on with them. So let's go around. I'll give a brief update at, of FRAP at the end, but that's going to be mostly covered in the next video by itself since there's a lot going on with him. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's check out all the reptiles. Let's start first with the babies since one of them is out basking in the UVB right now. Uh, this one, I suspect, is a he, uh, but look at the colors coming in. There's some nice yellow tint on the top. It looks like there's a little bit of a line developing down the back. We'll see how full that comes in, uh, and then some nice kind of reddish on the back. The other one in there is still a little sketchy. I think he's uh, mostly, or she, I believe it's a she. She's mostly sketched out because this one has been quite dominant, and uh, sort of their behaviors together have been getting more and more aggressive, so... I'll be sort of separating them soon once I get LG's new enclosure in um, and then I can put one of them in his current enclosure, in LG's current enclosure. Real quick, I hope you guys can see this, but can you see the nice yellow sort of under the neck and on the tummy um, and on the side right there? Oh, that looks so great. In the contrast between the, the reddish brown on the back and the yellow tum, that would uh, tummy, I like to call it tum sometimes. Um, that, that looks so cool. I'm really excited to see how their color comes in more. As they age, they tend to get more yellow, yellow ackies, and their colors just come on more pronounced, and it's just really awesome to see. Now, here's the suspected female, and look at that nice brown, sort of reddish orange coming in on the back. Uh, that one is definitely a lot more dark on its back more like aces instead of dell but then look at the head you can see the the head there is a little bit more yellowish uh it's a really cool contrast there i can't wait to see the coloring on this female come in as well um but you can see they're both doing well both uh, active and alert but there's a lot more dominance behavior going on so i need to keep an eye on that let's check in with dell now she's doing really good you can see she's out basking right now She's going through a shed currently, same with Aces, who we'll talk about in a minute. You can see it up top near the neck, that nice kind of reddish brown coming in, uh, and then below is sort of where that shed is. So that should be coming off soon. She's been doing a lot of burrowing and stuff to get that extra skin off, um, but she's doing well. Uh, she hasn't seemed like she reduced much weight yet. She kind of has, so I'll be trying to pair her up soon. Um, uh, we'll have to see, but um, hopefully we'll have some babies for the summer. That's my intention, but we'll have to see how things work out. But she has a hearty appetite. She's doing really well. Um, I can't speak enough for her health right now. Speaking of coloring, though, you can see her neck, how yellow that is. Dell has gotten so yellow as she aged, and I can't wait to see sort of the yellows come out in the babies, see which baby sort of got her nice yellows. I would really like to get sort of a high yellow male, and sort of try to develop a line of really high yellow uh, yellow ackies. I think that would be really cool. I have never really seen a high yellow line of yellow ackies. Uh, I think their yellows are absolutely beautiful. That's really why I prefer them over the red ackies. Not that there's anything wrong with red ackies. Uh, but they tend to start looking more and more like red ackies. Uh, the yellow ackies really have. So I really want to get them back to the more yellow side and show the real colorfulness of what a yellow acne can have. So that's what I really want to try to develop. Over to Asus, like I said, he's going through a shed as well. You can see his neck is kind of darker. Uh, it does look like his body's coming along though. You can see sort of those nice new colors coming out, the brownish reds. Uh, that's what I love to see. Uh, but he's doing good. He's a feisty eater. He's being super active like always, very curious. Um, he's been really wanting to explore lately. Every time I sort of uh, open up the enclosure, he jumps right out on me and it's kind of funny. So uh, he's been very sociable lately. I've been really happy with him. Um, but I cannot speak enough for his health as well. He's been doing really well. One thing I will say about Aces is if you can see his face right there, it kind of looks a little indented in the middle. I don't really know what that's about. 
Um, I really only notice it because I see them every day and it just looks different. I don't think it's anything concerning. Um, and you really have to look at it from an angle. I think it's just how his face has kind of developed as he aged. Uh, and I believe I've seen some Ackies with that as well. But you can see sort of um, his upper jaw or whatever it's called, his upper lip, kind of comes out a little bit. Then it indents in right there. And then it kind of goes, you know, back there. Um, I don't know what that is, if that's anything concerning. I'm keeping an eye on it. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it before. So if you have, uh, let me know. I think it's just sort of how his face has developed, but I just really have noticed that. I, I was kind of curious. Uh, it doesn't look like it's matched on the other side. Uh, I wish I could show you the other side right now, but um, I, I really don't think it's anything concerning. Uh, it's just something I've, I've sort of noticed. Um, there you can see his other side right there. Looks pretty straight. And then if you want to turn on the other side, Asus, you can see it looks pretty normal like right there. Of course, he doesn't want to hold still. Um, but that's the only thing I really noticed about him and you can see how I was talking about how sociable he is Okay, now on the LG LG and me have been like two peas in a pod. Sorry for some shakiness in the camera I got to really get in here. Hopefully you'll come over um, But he has been Fantastic. We have gotten along so well uh, Usually he comes running to me uh, Whenever I come in here, so I don't know why he's not doing that it obviously is uh, food related because he always gets excited when I come in here because he might think he's getting fed. Um, but when he realizes he's not, he becomes super curious of me, climbs up me. For those of you who uh, come on the live streams, you see how curious he is when he's being fed. Um, afterwards, he goes and checks out the camera I put in there. He's just so sociable. Uh, we've gotten along so well. Like I said, he's been in a shed as well. You can see, um, let me get a little closer, it might be a little bit more shaky. Um, his neck is, uh, fully shedded, pretty much. Uh, he's got a little bit of a shed done on his tail, but his body and his head still have some stuff to do. Uh, he's doing great, though. I don't know why he's not running over here. He's being difficult right now. Now on to Max. Max is doing great. She has a little bit left on her shed. Like I said, everybody's shedding here, I guess, not just the Ackies. Uh, there's a little tip. Uh, on her tail it's coming out and then you can see her ears are in shed uh, those should be coming off soon um, her tail actually looks like it's ready to be fully complete looking at it up close um, so she's finishing that up she's still eating her salad a ton I'm really happy with her diet progress um, she's been going to the bathroom more regularly she's been really great I'm really happy with how Max is going and just to update you guys, I know I told you guys I ordered a couple enclosures. One's LG's permanent enclosure, and the other one is Max's new enclosure. I want to get her on some natural substrate. Um, the person who made them, he's, he's reputable, I'm not really worried about him ghosting me, but he said he had some family issues, he posted it to his page, um, and I'm just waiting to hear back on what the update is and when I should be getting it. Uh, so that's the delay and why I, she's not in her new enclosure yet. So Tornellini has still been a little stubborn lately, he's eating better. Um, but he's just acting weird overall. I think he just needs to get out of this enclosure. I think it's a little too stuffy in here to be honest and um, You know, it's, it's, there's a lot of dust that kind of kicks up and I think it kind of irritates him um, So I really want to get him in his new enclosure um, He's doing good overall. He's just acting a little bit more lazy, but that's also uh, You know a tendency of a tortoise. They tend to like reside a lot more especially as they get older uh, in their hides and such So I've been kind of blocking them out you can see there's a wood piece block in his hide right now um, to kind of keep him out of there. Uh, that way he make, I make sure he gets adequate UVB and he stays out for that because I don't want any shell deformities. Um, and I think I also had the basking temp a little bit low lately and that could have contributed it to him, contributed it, contributed to his uh, sort of lazy behavior. Um, so hopefully all those adjust, that adjustment will encourage him to be out a little bit more and be a little bit more active. Uh, but I'm keeping an eye on him. Overall, he's pretty good, but he is acting a little odd. Now to Destin. Destin has been doing really good. He's been having a grand old time. I know I've been saying I'm upgrading him to his new enclosure since time existed. And I feel really bad I haven't gotten to it. Uh, especially as of late. It's been very hectic here. And uh, you can hear in my voice that, you know, I'm a little under the weather and stuff. Uh, so I'm not trying to make up excuses. I really need to get to it, but uh, I still am working on his enclosure figuring that all out I'm mostly struggling on 
plants and what will do well and how to keep the plants alive. That's a whole new territory for me, so I'm a little uh, nervous about all that. I never done plants in a bioactive enclosure. That's why I call all my enclosures semi-bioactive because they are not planted. Uh, but that's really where I'm struggling and that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm still working on it. It's going to happen. Um, I apologize that it hasn't happened sooner than, you know, I would like, but uh, he's doing well health-wise, eating like always, uh, you know, everything you would uh, imagine out of a, a crested gecko. So I'm happy with how his health is. Now this isn't exactly reptiles, but I did get a bunch of crickets and I am trying to breed them. Um, so you've been probably hearing them throughout the video. I did want to kind of give that quick update. Uh, hopefully uh, that will be successful. I'm really not 100% focusing on breeding them. I'm hoping they'll lay in the substrate. I do have heat provided and stuff. Um, and I'm meeting the necessary conditions. But I'm not like super focused on breeding them. Uh, I mostly got them for feeders. But I hope they breed just so I can um, get a little bit more out of them. But that's uh, that noise you've been hearing throughout the video. And I just kind of wanted to update you guys that I am expanding what I'm breeding feeder wise. Okay, so I did purposely save Frat for last because I know a lot has been going on with him and it's really been sort of the talk of the channel lately. Uh, I'm going to do a whole video on him, so I'm not really going to cover a lot here. Uh, I'll just give a little teaser to what I've been doing in his enclosure and stuff. I did a lot this past week that really took up a lot of my time to correct minor husbandry things and just give it the best possible adjustments I can. Uh, based off of having a reputable uh, vet come by and evaluate my husbandry. Uh, he is getting treated for a couple different things. Uh, one of them is a bacterial infection in his mouth. That's kind of why his jaw is a little messed up like that. Um, and, uh, you know, he's just being treated for that. That will all be covered in the video, probably the next video after this video. Um, if it's already posted, I'll put it in the top right. Um, but he's doing fine now. He's on the road to recovery. It's been a hard past week, like I said. Um, but he is coming out a lot more. He's doing a lot better. He's a lot more feisty, so I'm really happy with that. Um, I do believe that I got most of his shed off that was stuck. Uh, that was related to the bacterial infection as well, since he was a little dehydrated, leading to a uh, more stuck shed. Uh, but that's his tail back there, um, and it looks pretty good. I don't see any stuck shed on it. Uh, let me know if you guys see any, but to me, it looks like I got it off. So. Uh, I'm pretty happy with his tail right now. Um, his legs look pretty good as well. I don't see any stuck shed on there. Um, it looks like he has a little shedding to do on the sides of him, but that doesn't look stuck. But he should be getting better. Uh, like I said, I'll do a full video explaining what happened and everything going on. But just wanted you guys to see him and know that he's doing all right now and he's getting better each day. Real quick, I'll give a tease of his enclosure and the changes I made. If you watch the channel, you should notice them pretty readily. Um, but this is real quick, most of what I've done. Um, these are just there for a little bit. I'm thinking of taking them out permanently. Uh, so you can see there's been quite a few changes, but we'll cover that in the next video, like I said. So that's everyone, guys. Uh, like I said, we will be revisiting FRAP in its own episode. That should be the next video I put up, and we'll talk about all the problems going on there. Like I said, though, he's doing well now, and he's on the path to recovery. So thanks for joining me. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.